mental health is not mental illness. Mental illness is what we've been obsessed with uh, over a long, long time, from from bloodletting leeches to all the crazy ECT from the 50s to everything we've talked about. You know, the, the, everything's based on a childhood trauma. Everything's based on you know psychoanalysis and 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 then to the crazy pharmacology that that's that's all the stuff that you know the, the whole focus on medications what's mental health diagnostics i think is quite scientific whether it's you know everything from pharmacogenetics to eventually getting to the point where there's neurotransmitter testing i still don't think that's very accurate or very kind of good at this point but um the, the diagnostic idea that, hey, there's some clinical symptoms that define when you're depressed or you're having a panic attack or, or you have OCD or, or whatever it is, um, that doesn't mean that mental health treatment should be solely scientific. I, I believe that there's so much missing from mental health treatment because, first off, mental health is not just biological. In fact, it's probably as much spiritual, existential, and creative visionary as it is biological. You have to envision something new and a and have a worthiness to pursue a bigger, better, bolder, more healthy life. You have to understand who you are from an existential perspective to to you know get a sense of of meaning in your life if you're devoid of energy devoid of passion devoid of of meaning in your life you're not going to be motivated if you're not inspired to lead a better life or to move towards something you're going to stagnate and if you stagnate your reactionary environment is going to take over and then you know whatever whatever kind of comes your way you're not you're not leading from your heart or your soul you're just leading from your intellect and our intellect you know it it it's fine but it carries a lot of baggage with it all of our defenses are attached to our intellect the perfectionism imposter syndrome procrastination avoidance repression suppression blah 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 all that stuff comes with our intellect. So I love the positive psychology disruption of mental health. Um, and, you know, I, I think mental health, there's a lot missing from the conversation, even though a lot of corporations now have mental health programs and the government's finally paying attention to mental health. And listen, I've been a mental health advocate since I, you know, for 20 some years since, since uh, I finished my residency in psychiatry. Uh, but I, I can't, I can't subscribe to the the psychiatric system in, in its in its core, which is, you know, doctors create diagnoses, pharma companies make medications for those diagnoses, insurance companies reimburse for those diagnoses, and there is so much missing from that system that uh, that just really impacts uh, the the ability for for people to improve and 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 uh to, to better their mental health and i see mental health as mental health is everything from deep human pathology to the very brightest in our human potential and human performance and i personally as an individual just as a human in this world that's had the opportunity to be trained pretty well in all this stuff I didn't want my life to be just about helping people in pathology. I wanted people to move, to activate their potential, to find more meaning, purpose, and passion in their life, to perform and be as productive and have the deepest relationships that they desire. And I couldn't do that in just traditional psychiatric medicine. I needed to, to really expand who I am as a, just as an individual to uh to develop these programs to help people far beyond just being in a crisis